It was an historic day in South Carolina after 50 years of flying on the State House grounds. The Confederate flag was taken down. You can hear the roar of applause from the thousands of people that gathered there, but now new questions tonight surfacing about other relics of the past. The debate over whether to fly the Confederate flag now touching Mississippi. That state's flag has the stars and bars right in the corner. And in New Orleans, monuments with Confederate symbols are coming under fire too. The city took its first legal step towards relocating four Confederate monuments there. Now, they will actually be holding public meetings to discuss whether those monuments are a public nuisance. It's all part of a greater discussion across the country about whether these antiques are part of our heritage or harsh reminders of a painful past. The debate even reaches one community right here in West Michigan. The Lowell Showboat is a well-known landmark. But what many don't even know, it's named after Confederate General Robert E. Lee. Tonight, we went to Lowell to find out if people there think the name should be changed. 24 Hour News 817 is back with some answers. Now, Brian and Marley, it wasn't hard to find some strong opinions. There were a lot of people in town tonight for Lowell's annual Riverwalk Festival. Some didn't even know the boat's actual name, just referring to it as the Lowell Showboat. But most people do know what name it bears, and not everyone is happy about it. It's one of the city's most prized local landmarks. <laughs> The Lowell Showboat has been around since the 30s. This is actually the fifth one built, and it has a rich history. But it's the words on the back that are creating some split opinions, especially now. That's because the boat is actually named after Confederate General Robert E. Lee. Do you think that name might offend some people? It does. It offends me. I, I don't understand why we would be Lowell Showboat City and have Robert E. Lee. What did he have to do with Lowell? It makes no sense to me. I don't think it's offensive to people. I mean, that's a piece of history. If that flag had been painted on that boat, I'd be totally against the boat. I'd sink the boat for him. You know what? That's how I feel about that Confederate flag. But that name doesn't bother you? No. No, it doesn't. The city owns the showboat, which only flies an American flag. But we wanted to know why in Michigan was it named after a Southern general? And when you look back in history, and if you look at what Robert E. Lee stands for, they say it's like the monarch of the Mississippi River. And the showboats have been a replica of the Mississippi River boats. So that is probably why they named it the Robert E. Lee. Many told us today that changing the name would be going too far, an overreaction to what's happened with the Confederate flag. We asked Lowell's mayor if he thinks the name should be changed. Personally, as Jim Hodges, yes. Uh, as mayor of the city of Lowell, I think we would need to uh, have our committees and have, have our uh, community uh, get a better feel for that. Now, the man who built and maintained the boat passed away several years ago. There have been talks in the past about renaming the boat after him, but right now it's unclear if and when a name change might actually happen. Hmm. Evan, I mean, that story is a perfect example of this debate of, like, where does it start to splinter off right. into who knows where? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You heard the one gentleman say, if there was a Confederate flag on that boat, I would sink the boat but I'm not right. bothered by the name. So I think people have a different opinion of what they associate uh, with what right. happened back in the past. Some mm -hmm. might associate the Confederate flag, others might not associate Robert E. Lee. Well, and that's what stood out, is that when you showed that it was flying an American flag, well, that sort of changes everything. Absolutely. Right? Unless people really take a deeper look. Most people that we talked to, to be fair, did not have an issue with it, but some do. Interesting. Evan Dean, thank you.